Hello everyone, this is Zia Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variation of parameters method in Ungovy part 2. So let's get going. Problem solve y double dash plus 2y dash plus y equal to x square e power minus x or d square plus 2d plus 1 into y equal to x square e power minus x. So here, y double dash or y2 is nothing but d square y by dx square. Likewise, y dash or y1 is nothing but dy by dx. Okay, you can ask the same equation in another form y2 plus 2y1 plus y equal to x square e power minus x or d square y by dx square plus 2 into dy by dx plus y equal to x square e power minus x. Right? And this is a equation in operator form or equation, the three equations in operator form. Okay, an equation in operator form. Fine. And we are given a differential equation of order 2. Given differential equation, y double dash plus 2y dash plus y equal to x square e power minus x, right? We can write y double dash, consider it as equation number 1 and we can write y double dash as d square y by dx square plus 2 into write y dash as dy by dx plus y equal to x square e power minus x. Now we can write d square y by dx square as capital D square y plus 2 into write dy by dx as dy plus y equal to x square e power minus x. Now take y common from all the three terms of LHS. We'll get d square plus 2d plus 1 into y equal to x square e power minus x. Consider it as equation number 2, which is in operator form, say, f of d into y equal to some function of x where f of d equal to d square plus 2d plus 1 and r of x equal to x square e power minus x. Right? Now let's write the homogeneous equation of equation 2. The homogeneous equation of 2 is d square plus 2d plus 1 into y equal to 0. Consider it as equation number 3. Now we need to find the general solution of the given equation. So we'll find, firstly we'll find the solution of homogeneous equation and later using the solution of homogeneous equation, we'll write the general solution, the solution of the general solution of equation 2 and equation 1 because 1 and 2 are same equations, right? So let's begin with the auxiliary equation to find the solution of homogeneous equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to, we have f of d, d square plus 2d plus 1, right? Let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equal to m square plus 2m plus 1. Now the auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 2m plus 1 equal to 0. Now we need to find roots of this equation. And the equation looks like the expansion of m plus 1 whole square. Again, we can write m plus 1 whole square as m plus 1 into m plus 1. Now we equate each factor to 0. Equate each factor to 0. If m plus 1 equals to 0, then m equal to minus 1, right? Since m plus 1 is repeating twice, so we'll get m equal to minus 1 and minus 1, which are real and equal roots of the auxiliary equation. Therefore, the roots are real and equal. We know that when two roots, say m1 and m2, are real and equal, then, or if 
we have two equal rows which are real and equal then the solution of homogeneous equation looks like c3 plus c4x into e power that equal root into x here i'm writing c1 and c3 and c4 instead of c1 and c2 because i need c1 and c2 to appear in the last general solution of the given differential equation right fine now let's write the solution of the homogeneous equation the solution of homogeneous equation is y equal to c3 plus c4x into e power minus 1 into x this gives us c3 plus c4x into e power minus x or c3 e power minus x plus c4 x e power minus x therefore y equal to c3 e power minus x plus c4 x e power minus x is the solution of our homogeneous equation now using this we'll write the general solution of equation 1 and equation 2 let y equal to a e power minus x plus b x e power minus x be the general solution of 1 and 2 because here 1 and 2 are same equations okay so here we are just replacing the parameters or constants with functions of x a and b okay just replace parameters with functions of x where a and b are functions of x Right. Now we can compare this equation with y equal to c3u plus c4v or this equation with y equal to au plus bv to find u and v. We'll have u equal to e power minus x and v equal to x e power minus x. Right. Where u equal to e power minus x and v equal to x e power minus x. Right. And here a dash and b dash is given by a dash is given by minus v into r of x by u v1 minus v u1 and b dash is given by u into r of x by u v1 minus v u1. If you notice we are having u v1 minus v u1 in both the formulae. So let's begin with u v1 minus v u1 and later we'll find a dash b dash a b and finally the general solution right so let's see here v1 is nothing but derivative of v and u1 is nothing but derivative of u or derivative of u v sorry derivative of v with respect to x minus v into derivative of u with respect to x this is equal to u you are having e power minus x into d by dx of v x e power minus x minus v is x e power minus x into derivative of u with respect to x this is equal to e power minus x into derivative of x with respect to x into e power minus x plus x into derivative of e power minus x with respect to x minus x e power minus x into derivative of e power minus x with respect to x is minus e power minus x right this equals to e power minus x or derivative of x with respect to x is 1 into e power minus x plus x into derivative of e power x with respect to x is minus e power minus x minus x into e power minus x sorry you can write it as minus into minus plus x e power minus x into e power minus x is equals to e power minus x into e power minus x minus x e power minus x plus x into e power minus x whole square which becomes or this gives us e power minus x into e power minus x is e power minus x whole square minus 
x into e power minus x into e power minus x is e power minus x whole square plus x e power minus x whole square right here minus e power minus x whole square plus x e power minus x whole square gets cancelled and this is equals to e power minus x whole square which is equals to e power minus 2x therefore uv1 minus v1 equal to e power minus 2x see here itself you can replace e power minus x e power minus x with e power minus 2x okay or you can write it as e power minus x whole square it's up to you now let's find a dash and b dash a dash is given by minus v into r of x by u v1 minus v1 right this is equal to minus v of x is or v is x e power minus x into r of x is x square e power minus x by u v1 minus v1 is e power minus 2x this gives us minus x into x square is x cube e power minus x into e power minus x by e power minus 2x c e power minus x into e power minus x can be written as e power minus x minus x which is e power minus 2x right so we can replace it with e power minus 2x then we'll get x cube into e power minus 2x by e power minus 2x so here e power minus 2x gets cancelled and we'll get e power sorry a dash equals to minus x cube therefore a dash equal to minus x cube let's now find b dash here itself or here itself you can find a see we got a dash which is equals to minus x cube right here a dash is nothing but derivative of a with respect to x now let's separate the variables by taking dx differential dx to rhs then we'll get da equal to minus x cube dx so here the variables are separable so we can perform integration which gives us a equal to minus x power 4 by 4 plus integral constant say c1 right therefore a equal to minus x power 4 by 4 plus c1 let's now find b dash and b now coming to b dash b dash is given by u into r of x by u v1 minus v1 right let's now substitute u r of x u and v1 minus v1 i mean u v1 minus v1 uh, we have u e power minus x r x square e power minus x by u v1 minus v1 is e power minus 2x this gives us x square into e power minus x into e power minus x we can just replace e power minus x into e power minus x with e power minus 2x right here e power minus 2x gets cancelled we'll get b dash equal to x square since we know that b dash is nothing but derivative of b with respect to x now let's separate the variables by taking differential dx to rhs we'll get db equal to x square dx here the variables are separable so we can perform integration integral db equal to integral x square dx from this we'll get b equal to integral x square dx is x cube by 3 plus integral constant say c2 therefore b equal to x cube by 3 plus c2 so we got b dash and b here right finally we are having a and b now we can write the general solution just substitute a b in this equation to find the required general solution of our problem therefore the general solution is given by y equal to a e power minus x plus b x e power minus x right let's substitute a and b here we'll have minus x power 4 by 4 plus c1 into e power minus x plus b x cube by 3 plus c2 
into x e power minus x. This gives us minus x power 4 into 1 by 4 into e power minus x. I am just writing x power 4 by 4 as x by 4 uh, x power 4 into 1 by 4. Right? Plus c1 e power minus x plus x cube into x is x power 4 into 1 by 3 into e power minus x plus c2 x e power minus x. Right? Now, firstly, I'll write the terms involving c1 and c2 so that I'll get y equal to c1 e power minus x plus c2 x e power minus x. Now, I'll take x power 4 e power minus x common from these two terms. Then I'll get x power 4 e power minus x times 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4. Just simplify it. 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 gives 4 minus 3 by 3 fours are 12, which is 1 by 12, right? This gives us c1 e power minus x plus c2 x e power minus x plus x power 4 e power minus x into 1 by 12 or y equal to c1 e power minus x plus c2 x e power minus x plus 1 by 12 into x power 4 e power minus x, which is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from variation of parameters in this video. I hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.